Hello, so recently I have been building superels.com where you will also be able to view all my videos outside of YouTube. And I would like to go through some really interesting stuff uh, I noticed for myself while building the uh, app. So today we are going to talk about uh, the difference between turbo streams and turbo frames and how we did the uh, voting in the app. So here you see I'm on localhost and when I open a single post, I have uh, a few different actions I can do with the post. I can mark it as not interested or I can add it to a watch list or I can mark it as uh, completed. I can uh, unmark it as completed or whatever. And how is this implemented? So if I go to our gem file, we will have the gem acts uh, as votable. And uh, inside the post.rb, we have uh, acts as votable, means that the post can be voted on. And inside the user.rb, we have acts as voter, meaning the user can vote on something. And uh, how do these buttons work? So let's go to our posts slash show. And here we have render vote buttons. It is a separate partial. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. So uh, we have a few different vote types. If we open the post model, I said that we have like three vote types, hide, watch list, and complete. So hide, watch list, and complete. And uh, for each of these vote types, I render a button that leads to the vote post path. The method is post, the default method on the button. So we pass in the post, and uh, in the params we pass the vote type, one of uh, these three vote types. So let's have a look at the uh, controller. I'm going to our posts uh, controller and here we have the vote action. So we find the vote type from uh, the params that we pass here and uh, we do post.setVotes. So set votes uh, has the voter, that's the current user, and the vote scope. And let's have a look at this uh, set votes. Here it is. So we pass in the user and the vote type. The vote type again can be either hide or watch list and complete. And uh, the, if the user has voted with this specific vote type on a post, we will delete this. Or if the user has not voted as uh, this vote scope, then we create it. For example, if the user has already bookmarked a post, we are going to remove the bookmark. If the user has not uh, bookmarked the post yet, we are going to add the bookmark. Uh, so let's try doing something. I will click on complete. And in the meantime, I will look at the uh, logs. So I click complete. There are a few different actions that uh, happen. Let's uh, let's look at here. So here you see we have this insert into votes, votable type, and so on. So we have voted on the post by the user. Uh, vote scope is complete and uh, plus one vote. If I uh, click on complete once again, we will see that uh, uh, here the vote has been deleted. So this way a user can vote uh, in different ways on uh, uh, the same post. And uh, how does it work uh, on the front end? So you see, I click complete uh, and uh, basically uh, I have no full page refresh. But this element actually does get refreshed. Let's see that it uh, actually happens. I will add a time zone now here. So um, whenever I click one of these three buttons, you see this div gets refreshed. Why does it happen? Because in post controller, you see in the vote uh, action, I redirect to post. And everything within the, the vote buttons is inside the tube frame tag. So uh, basically, I uh, redirect to post. It brings me to the show page. Within the show page, it finds this uh, uh, element that has the tube frame tag with this ID. And the only element that gets refreshed is uh, this uh, partial, basically. So only the stuff that is within this tube frame tag, this button that is within the tube frame tag gets uh, refreshed. It's not, not a full page refresh. But the problem with this approach is that uh, uh, it always hits uh, the post show action and it can be quite uh, heavy to load. Let's just ensure that it definitely hits the post show action. I'll put a debugger here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put the debugger in the end. So uh, I will uh, click on uh, complete. I'll open the console in a second window. 
I click on complete, and here you see we hit the debugger in the show action. And the problem is that uh, when we are using this kind of uh, refreshes with turbo frames, then we're hitting this show action and uh, it loads all this data that we might not need uh, uh, for this refresh. Uh, so basically, it's kind of loading all these queries and uh, we don't really want these queries to just refresh a few buttons. So uh, instead of uh, using tube frames here, I think uh, a better approach would be to use tube streams and uh, explicitly re render these vote buttons without uh, loading all the stuff from the show action. So I'm going to switch the debugger off here and here in our vote action, instead of saying redirect to uh, post, I'm going to comment it out and I'm going to have a tubo stream uh, response. So I will say uh, respond to do format format dot tubo stream do and and now uh, render tubo stream tubo stream dot replace. We're going to replace the element. Uh, with this vote button so dom id post votes container so here we have the id of the element that we are replacing we are going to replace it with the, the partial named uh, post slash vote buttons and we are going to pass in the locales that are going to be uh, post equals post Okay, let's uh, see, are there any, yeah, I forgot a comma here. Are there any errors? No, this might uh, work. And just instead of having this turbo frame tag, I'm going to have uh, a content tag uh, div, and this is the ID of the div. So we don't need this turbo frame anymore. And uh, here we are not going to, from the controller, respond to the format HTML. So no full page redirect and no turbo frame redirect, but we are just going to render a turbo stream. And let's see if uh, this uh, works. I will uh, try to refresh this page. I will uh, try to make a request. And I get this error, undefined method DOM ID, because uh, we did not uh, allow DOM ID in the controller, so we'll need to explicitly add it. I will say include um, action view uh, helper, no, record identifier. I think like this. Let's see, I will click complete. And uh, let's see, there is no full page refresh, but this element does get refreshed. And let's have a look at the network tab. Let's click inspect uh, network. And uh, now I will click on complete. Uh, yeah, let me clean it all up. I click on complete. You see we have this uh, response. Let's have a look at the payload preview. And we have this tube stream response with the, with the HTML for the buttons. So this way we replaced our tubo frames response without with a tube stream response and now we do not uh, invoke the show action and don't load all the actions from the uh, don't, don't we don't load all these queries from the show action so uh, it is a good example when uh, we can load less data by just uh, using a tube stream instead of a tube frame and this is a small change i'm going to do in my code base to make it run a bit faster so I hope you like this type of videos and then see you in the next one.